With a recount in Virginia Beach over, the Commonwealth's House of Delegates officially goes to the GOP. Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin promised to start there with changes to education. Conservative activists hope he'll follow suit with rollbacks to abortion rights, but one hurdle remains. To put it simply, Trump voters who expected a radical change in Virginia because of Glenn Youngkin's election are going to be disappointed. Dr. Stephen Farnsworth, University of Mary Washington political scientist, notes that Virginia's Senate is still controlled by Democrats, and it'll stay that way because the next election for every Senate seat isn't until November 2023. What do you think divided government means for Virginians through at least 2023? Well, what it really means above all is gridlock on any controversial issue. Both parties may be able to come together on lowering taxes, but a Senate in Democratic hands will likely check most of Mr. Youngkin's campaign promises. It's important to remember that governors are not dictators. And particularly in Virginia, governors do not have a lot of leverage politically. The idea that there's going to be some wholesale a conservative reversal in Virginia, that's just not in the cards. Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.